Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anchorfly here, coming at ya. Holy kahuna, man. Did you see that fish jump? <laughs> My name's Eric Carter Spurio with anchorfly.com. Most anglers learn a knot or taught a knot and end up using that knot for the majority of their fly fishing career. However, we surveyed over 240 experienced fly anglers and found out that 76% of those anglers are frustrated with knots. Almost 70% of them use either the clinch knot or the improved clinch knot. We wanted to get to the bottom of this ourselves, so we tested the seven most popular fly fishing knots, tippet to fly. We tested across four different hook sizes and ran all of those tests with both fluorocarbon and monofilament. Suffice to say, this led to hundreds of hours of testing and analyzing knots but we feel it was worth it. I'm gonna tell you right now that out of all seven knots, the clinch knot had the weakest break strength for both fluorocarbon and mono. If you continue watching or click through to the study, we'll lead you to a variety of insight on this topic. Leading the way in this regard is offering a knot for your tippet to fly connection that is 66% stronger than the clinch knot with fluorocarbon and Super easy to tie and uses minimal tippet material. Why more people don't use this knot? I don't know, but leave us a comment if you've used it or if you're willing to switch to it. Hey man, weren't you wearing glasses? Most people will be, be viewing this video directly on our website, anchorfly.com. So I thought it was relevant to let, let people know that the purpose of this video is to one, show our methodology, our process, um, the apparatus that we did all the trials on. Um, and then secondary purpose would be to spread awareness directly on YouTube where this is uploaded um, for anglers searching around there for um, similar information. So let's head over to the lab and check out the apparatus, show you how some of the testing's done. Do you even fly fish, bro? Welcome to my sweet lab. I take this opportunity to kind of go over the method that was used in this research. So here we got Rio. Fluorocarbon, 5X, Scientific Angler. I use jig hooks for everything aside from, you know, the size eight hook. Um, here we have the sweet apparatus. Um, basically what I did was suspended a fish scale or a luggage scale over um, a pail basically um and i just used a polymer knot to go to this with the swivel down to the the knot and the actual hook i was testing um and then i use water to basically create a steady consistent flow of weight and this um would house a gopro hero black that would record the scale um, so I could get it down to the most accurate reading. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you an example of one of the tests, obviously. All right, what we have here is obviously the, the scale. Um, we have a swivel, just a kind of barrel swivel uh, with a polymer knot under that. That's obviously gonna be a lot stronger than a lot of the knots I'm testing. Then I go down to the hook that I'm testing. And for this example, I'm doing a size eight streamer hook. Uh, the knot that I'm testing right here for this sample is a trialing knot, a five turn trialing knot. Um, the, this is Rio fluorocarbon 5X. And, for any um, 
knot, like an improved or a clinch knot or a trialing knot here that requires wraps, I use five turns on 5X. So this is Rio Fluorocarbon 5X, and we're testing a uh, trialing knot. So what I'll do is turn on the scale. Typically I have my camera here um, mounted so that I can get like the most accurate reading possible. The scale isn't going to be picked up by the camera from there, but um, you know, I'm just basically showing the one trial for my method here. So um, I gently um, will place this on the hook as gently as possible and typically I'll kind of just hold it there with my finger slowly start to release it and then trickle the water and then it's on the hook I'll get the water going a little more so the scale doesn't lock and here you can see 3.2 3.48 was that test uh, uh, five turn trialing um, on a size 8 hook with real fluorocarbon 5x so that was an example of um, just one of these trials so there you've seen it I have wanted to create this video basically um, to show you the apparatus that, that was created to uh, gather this data as well as one sample trial. Um, there's so much data that I can't go over everything in this video, but I have created an infographic and put it on my site, anchorfly.com. Um, so it'll be featured there. The link will be in the description to that study. Um, but as promised, I wanted to express findings and key points. So there's a lot of data here. I'm gonna keep this very top level um, and just really go over this main slide. In this slide, you will see all seven knots ranked by what I'm calling overall index score. Overall index score places predominant weight on fluorocarbon and monofilament brake strength, but it also includes Ease index, which is how easy the knot is to tie, and profile index, which is how bulky or clean the knot is once it's tied. As you can see, the trialing got the number one position in this index. It has the strongest brake strength for fluorocarbon, is number two behind the uni knot for monofilament. It's very easy to tie. It does have a bulkier profile due to how it's tied, but the added protection from this knot is just creates a lot of confidence on the water. Um, and I don't find that the profile in most situations is going to mean that I catch less fish. So here you have it, the trialing knot. Next is the double Davy. We have the uni knot. Davy came in middle of the pack. Orvis knot is very strong knot, but it's hard to tie, especially if you don't tie it very often. Um, I find it very hard to tie on the water um, without a tool, really. Um, the main take homes are the trialing knot leading the pack of this in index, and then the very popular improved and clinch knots actually ranking sixth and seventh on this index. The rest of the study does go into um, fluorocarbon, monofilament, where the different knots ranked on that. It also goes into a little bit into ease and profile index as well as breaking each knot down and how they rated per hook size from a size 18 all the way up to a size eight streamer hook. So you can dive into that data if you want to. By far, the take home with this study is the trialing knot. It is basically 
tied exactly as the clinch knot is tied. It's easy to tie. It doesn't use that much more material. It has a 51% increase of added protection on a size 18 jig hook as opposed to the clinch knot. Some other kind of just good findings, Double Davy is an awesome knot. I mean, this knot is really great. It's score, it's easy to tie. It's, it's easy to tie and it's strong. You know, you're gonna lose less fish. Um, the Orvis knot is just really hard to tie. It's a great knot, um, but that's why I put the ease index on the study is because, I mean, it doesn't matter how strong a knot is, if you can't tie it on the water without a tool, you're just not gonna use it. <laughs> that Those are the main findings. Clinch knot scored the worst. Trilene knot scored the best. The trialing knot is what I'm going with um, from here on out for myself and my clients. I'm sure there is going to be a lot of comments, a lot of questions. There's probably going to be some haters, I'm sure. Um, but I encourage you to leave your thoughts, comments. Definitely subscribe. It helps to support studies like this in the future. Um, so yeah let me know in the comments um what knot you use from tip it to fly and if you have issues <laughs>